I don't know, where am I? I'm like kind of south, southwest. You know what? You're portal number three. I can't even cope with you right now. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Keplerth, where I see one of our guests in the Grand Keplerth Motel is enjoying our new hot tub. Yep, enjoy that. I built that just for you. Hopefully you're going to pay a little more for it. I'm going to go off and do something stupid, because comments keep saying that I should go to the uninhabited aisle that I can access from here. They're saying, no, no, it's not full of horrors. It's actually pretty chill. You should totally go there. So for no readily explicable reason, I'm going to go to an uninhabited aisle. This area is bound to the character, independent of the worlds. All right. From the moment your character enters any world until they leave, all the changes you make will be saved, including the materials. You can use rock fill to expand the area. So this just is like mine now. This is like my own private little area here. Uh, there's a bunch of good stuff here. There's rock fill right there. Okay, get get all of this stuff. That's probably going to jack my inventory. It totally does. Move that down there because I'm going to use that rock fill to try and get over to chest number two. So how does this kind of work here? Okay, I see. I see what we're doing here. We're kind of building a little path and we're going over here. Uh, how much of this do I have left? Oh, quite a bit. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. All right, uh, get rid of that, and let's go open this chest up here. What do we got? Rocks. Okay, not as thrilling. I'm going to take the rock fill. And you know what? I'm going to take that lumber, because I always need that. And the rest of it I can kind of live without right now. What else is going on around here? Um, some mushrooms and some fire. Okay, so I could just build, like, my own little private area. Fair enough. I'm still working on creating the replica thing. I'm going to need more bones and more monster meat. I'm good on everything else, though. That's fine. All right, so my basic plan for right now, well, is to go back home for a start and then go out on a bit of an adventure. What time? It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. All right, we've got a bunch of things that we need to do. We need to go find this village. we got to make a fishing rod. Did I ever make... The fishing rod. You know what? Speaking of leaving, I'm not going anywhere right now. I gotta dump some of my inventory. Oh, they're all in the hot tub. Oh, it's getting all late night around the Grand Keplerth Motel. Everybody's in the hot tub. I've got some... You guys are insane. I can't even with that. I've got some mushrooms here. I may as well cook them up. Get those going right there. And then I wanted to take a really, really super quick look at my stove and see what possible things I might be able to make from this eventually. Uh, nothing, really. How about weird food? That's disgusting organs. Mon oh, I just cooked up my mushrooms. Okay, I definitely have disgusting organs in a box somewhere. Monster meat I can do all day. All right, so when I'm out and about, focus on the mushrooms, get those under control, and then see if we can find any kind of water that I can fish in. We found no lakes, no rivers, no nothing in this game so far. So we're just basically going on a bit of a wander today. And right into a boar. I had my eyes on some mushrooms down there and wandered right into a boar. Are you the guys who give up disgusting organs? Uh, well, you, you hit pretty hard. I hit pretty hard too. Yeah, there we go. Disgusting organs right there. And let's get some mushrooms, because that's what I'm looking for. Oh, fantastic. I should have all the things I need right now. I'll get some extra mushrooms, because I can cook those up and make some food. But yeah, that should be all the things I need. And I know I have more disgusting organs back in my box at home. That that just doesn't sound right when you say it. But hey, there's Keplerth for you. Any, uh, any water? Like, literally anywhere at all? We're getting, uh... We're getting into some fog of war here. Okay, these are areas we've not discovered. What's up there? Another infected village. Oh, that's going to mean one of those parasiter things that take like two and a half days to kill. I got a small little shack over here, but nothing that I really need except maybe those walls. I might take the walls. Uh, you I can take out no problem, and I regenerate health so stupidly quickly. It's just ridiculous. I think I... You know what? I'm going to take out your walls, because I like these parasiter walls, so I'm going to get those. And apparently I've got a bed as well. Just having a quick snack on the road here, keep my hunger levels down. I found, well, nothing at all, really. Nothing at all. Just grassland, scrubland, that kind of thing. Not a trace of water anywhere. You know what? I could go back 
to the island, because islands are by their very definition surrounded by water. Oh, there was bones. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Any more of you guys over here? No, but you got some wicked cool furniture. Oh, I'm totally having that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm having that all day. All right, you, come here. I need to hit you with a spear. There we go. Spear. Oh, you're a little bit tougher. More disgusting organs, though. Let's go ahead and um, I'll wait till I'm not poisoned. There we go. Healing it faster than I'm taking it. There we go. Yeah, you, you, and you. Fantastic. Okay. Can I, like, pickaxe these things and get them? I'd like to have this. Oh, I can just take it. Wait, can I just take it? I'm putting something on the table. Oh, I get it. Um, I don't know. What have I got? I'll, I'll put a berry on the table. Is there now a berry on the table? There's berries on the table. Oh, that's okay. I can deal with that level of decoration. What's in the box? Uh, stuff. Great, good. Oh, those bullets. I desperately need those circuit boards. Even better, another one of these handguns. That's fine. Take all of that nonsense. Eh, another little shack down here. Nothing of note, really. A couple of you guys. Bears I'm pretty good at. Uh, you. Or would you be likely to drop bones? Ooh, hang on. What's going on over there? Ah, uh, you did drop bones. I appreciate that. What is going on over here? Oh, this deserves a little bit of a look. What is going on? Are you another teleporter, I assume? Now, can I sort of activate you? And therefore, yes. Definitely save that portal. Uh, so let's call that... I don't know. Where am I? I'm like kind of south... Southwest? You know what? You're portal number three. I can't even cope with you right now. What's in the box? Way more circuit boards. Love and seeing those. That is good. Okay, this has been a good trip so far. Largely uneventful, but a good trip. Uh, you're dead. All right, I'm looking at probably some kind of nest down there, but I'm also seeing a lot of bones. So let's take this out one by one. You go away. Now, the last time I did one of those nests, they respawn like stupid crazy quick. You want to come up and, like, see me? I'm usually pretty good with bears. Bears I can take out. Yeah, no problem with the bears. Uh, let's go ahead and get you out of the way. You know what? I can just tank you. I, I'm just going to tank you because I will heal this off so fast. Now, go right to the pickaxe and get this out of here before something else respawns. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. All right. Now, can I not? I can't actually pick up those bones. That's unfortunate. What's in the box here? Stuff. Okay, I'll take I'll take the money. I'm disinclined. I'll take the drugs, obviously, because, you know, drugs. And then that and the bandages, which I really should, like, quick bar. That's probably a smart thing to do. I mean, I heal faster than I take damage, but it's not a bad idea to have the bandages ready, just in case. What is that? And does it hate me? Well, it definitely hates me. Okay. Everything hates me around here, except for my guests, because they're all in the hot tub. You, I remember, you're kind of the sort of the Chinese dragon-looking thing. And yeah, you were stupid easy to kill. Ice dragon horn. Oh, neat. Problem is, it's getting a bit dark now. I think it might be time to put up a campfire and wait overnight. Well, dawn's just about coming up, and instead of water, I found snow. I wandered a little bit further south and found a clearly sort of arctic realm down here. I'm going to have to obviously murder everybody to get their stuff, but that's kind of the nature of things, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you'll go down pretty easy. Now, your friend over there, he's got a projectile attack, which is less good, but I should heal it off no problem at all. There's even more disgusting organs. I'm slightly poisoned, but it's honestly not that big a deal. I'm a mummy. I regenerate. Okay, you, come here. I'm just going gonna to tank you for a little bit. Don't even think I need to... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm healing so very, very quickly. Uh, what have you got here? Stuff? Cool. You actually got not a small amount of bullets for my, my firearm there. If I run into something tankier, like one of those Parasite or Hoosie McWhatsits there, they'll probably do something about that a little quicker than I have in the past. And no surprise, there's a ton of snow down here. All right, so I could... Is that ice or snow? All right, I'll, I'll murder you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll just kill you real quick. And then I want to see what your stuff is. It might be ice. Let's see what this is. What have we got over here? It looks like ice. Uh, how about we just choppy, choppy, choppy all of this out of here. That is, yeah, ice walls. Oh, I'm taking all of this then. I am sorry. I'm demolishing your house. That's not, it's not really very nice of me. Oh, you want a piece of me, do you? 
Well, guess what? I'm a mummy. I can tank you no problem. If I could hit you, that is. Ooh, there's a little vase, too. I want that. I want all the ice, and I want all your things out of here. Actually, while I'm next to another campfire, it wouldn't kill me to throw some meat on that. Let's, uh, I must have tons of, yeah, monster meat. There we go. Ooh, I don't probably want to cook all of that, though. You know what? I'll find more on the way home. There, there's no shortage of monster meat around here. I want whatever this bed is, because it looks really cool. And uh, that box, first aid kit, good deal. More ice, please. Where the heck am I, by the way? Where? Ooh, I've come a very, very long way from home. Very long way from home. I sh Is that another? Wait, is that a portal? Perfect. That is exactly what I needed to see. That way I can just zip home if I need to. Yep, there it is right there. Doesn't even look like there's anything at all guarding it. Well, there might have been. I might have already murdered them. Let's get the box first. Yep, all sorts of cool stuff in there, including more ammunition for my firearm. And let's get you activated. Okay, quick snack of my roasted monster meat. And we are back on track, back on the road, backstabbing this guy. Yeah, there's monster meat right there. I'll be fine. By the time I get home, I'll have the monster meat that I need to do the thing that I wanted to do. So now I'm going to try and, like, backtrack the other way, sort of circle around, see if I can, well, see if I can find any water. Oh, the floofy bird. You nailed me in the first episode. I want revenge. Oh, hang on. Wait, you're, you're a container? You are a container. You're a cuckoo bank. Um, I don't know what to do about you, so I'm just going to walk away. Got a little village over here, but I actually think I can probably cope with these guys. So long as they don't all dogpile on me, that'll be fine. And they give up money, which is good. Uh, you know what? I'll take two of you. Uh, you two, just come right over here and get a little stabbing action going there. Yep, get both of you at once. Okay, money, parasiter shards, all that kind of stuff. All right, what else is going on around here? Oh, yeah, two more. I got you. No worries, no worries. You will all get you murdered in time. Just wait in line. I'll get to you when I can get to you. Uh, you generally are a little bit tougher, but I think it's going to be under control. That's no problem. And then I see you've got a bit of a glowy box down here. What have you got? You got anything good? Oh, it's another little, uh, little collectible there. Cool. What's, uh, you know what? Give me all of you. We're, we're, we're doing this. Hi, everybody. Hello. You can't get past the fence. Bad news for you. I'm, um, I'm going to kill everyone in this village. This is, hey, it's the game I've got. Uh, can I stab you through the fence? No, but I could kind of stab you like this, right? Yeah, you didn't like that. Uh, let's, come on, come on. No, what? Why are you hiding from me? There we go. Oh, wow. When you do hit, you do hit hard. Oh, look, I've basically already healed it off. Whoops. These guys have got bronze weapons there, whatever it is. They don't do nothing, but they're also not even hitting me at this point. Uh, do you have any more ammo? No. Got some copper ore, though. Yeah, I'll take that. Iceberg lettuce. We're back into the lettuce game. I wonder how my lettuce is doing at home. I'm going to leave that one alive to warn the others. Also, there's no cool boxes or anything in his uh, in his little house, so I'm not going to fuss with him. I'm just going to fuss with these guys because that will be monster meat for days, more retractable tongues. I tell you what, if any of my genetic manipulations require retractable tongues, I have got that all day long. I should figure out where the heck I am going because I am just wandering around in the middle of nowhere. Where am I again? All right, so I've kind of done this. Oh, if I go up here, I could link up with an area I've been before, or it might be smarter just to go straight up and reveal some more fog of war that I haven't seen. Goblins to the right, boars to the left. I'm going to try and deal with the boars first, because then I'd like to try and take out their nests, and I think even with them all crowding me, yeah, this, this is just not a problem. Go ahead, I'll even just stand here for you. I won't even make it hard for you. Now, get in here super, super quick. Because these guys respawn very, very quickly. Get the nest out of here. Nest done. Back to the goblin issue. You guys over here, you want to come over and take a poke at me? Hi, guys. Oh, okay, you, just you. Just you, then. All right, uh, you know what? You're fine. More bones there. Good stuff. And then you. Yeah, I need all the bones I can. And those seem to come from humanoid-type creatures, which makes a degree of sense. Actually, it doesn't because, you know... If they got bones, they got bones. I should be getting bones from virtually everything. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was going straight up. Yeah, try not to deviate from the plan here. Also, grab a snack. 
Oh, you've got like a little, a little farm. You've got like animals that are domesticated. I, I know I, there's some way to do that. I don't know how to do it, but there is some way to do it. Well, I'm going to check you guys out. What if you, uh, can you teach me that in any way? What do you, what exactly is it that you do here? Farm tools. Okay. A beehive, right? And wood scissors, wool scissors, excuse me, wool scissors. I don't have enough nectar. You're right. I don't. I probably need a beehive for that. That's a little fussy. Uh, what else could we do? Sell supplies. Um, do you need drugs? Because I've got quite a few of them. Uh, in fact, you can have all of my drugs, basically. A little bit of money made there. How about anyone else? You look like you've got stuff for sale. What exactly is it you do? Uh, you just sell, okay? Or, you know, you buy stuff. All right, uh, anything I can do to you? No. All right, you got a little apple orchard. You've got some domesticated animals. I don't really know what I want to do with domesticated animals, but I know I'd like to have them. Now, Mr. Goblin Miner here, are you hostile to me? Yep, you sure are. You sure are. Okay, but that's more bones out of you. And this looks like copper, so let's get some of this out of here. We can always use that back at home. No reason not to grab this. Oh, yeah, plenty of copper ore here. Where am I on the map these days? Uh, we are getting... Actually, we're getting pretty close to home. Getting pretty close to home. Okay, so sort of cut up that way. Where, where is water? I mean, I just the map is huge. I have no idea. It could be anywhere, but it's not in my relatively immediate vicinity. It's not in what I what is basically a day's walk from the base. Interesting. Uh, you'll go down like nobody's business. Ooh, I got a nest of them up there. I think uh, maybe, maybe not. They move quick. No denying that, no denying that, but they go down to like two hits. Get all of this. Monster skin, monster this, monster that. Do you have anything? Oh, hi. Yeah, right. You have a, you have a projectile. Forgot about that. Uh, you know what? Just tank it off. Just tank it off. There we go. I'll heal it off very, very quickly. Do you have anything like really cool in here that I want? I, you've got a, you've got a box. I'll take that. Um, while I'm here, have a quick snack, uh, and then go in and kill that thing. Yep, more circuit boards, more bullets, more money. Good deal. All right, I'm gonna, it's getting dark. So I'm gonna try and make a rush for home at this point. I've got a couple of ideas of what I'd like to get done when we get there. All right, back home, followed by a bear, but no problem with that guy. How's everyone doing over here, kids? Oh, you're all hanging out around the hot tub. Hey, I would too, I get it. I get it, I'd like to get all of your money if I could. Uh, can I, yep, get, come on, there we go, get your money, everybody wants to pay me for their time in the hot tub, and I certainly understand that. Oh, I've gone in the hot tub myself. Well, you know what, I've had a long day, I get that. All right, my lettuce is up. I've got iceberg lettuce now, and some seeds for that. Well, why don't I just keep planting some seeds then? Iceberg lettuce, and I think I got some more seeds for something around here. Got that parasiter seed. You know what? Throw it in there. Take the bandages out like an idiot. Put these guys in instead. So let's go parasiter seed. Don't know if I want one, but I'm putting them in there. I'm going to put it on the other side of the hot tub, kids. If it's a horrible monstrosity, I'm wicked sorry about that. And then over to the iceberg lettuce. Let's put that there and there and then one up there. Okay, what was my idea in coming here? Now, just over in the chemistry bench, looking at the Enviro Adaptability B14 shot, which will protect me from the fungal spore-filled environment on underground levels 1 through 4. Oh, good. Because that just leads me to believe that level 5 and beyond is even worse. What's a plating pool? Metal plating to strengthen equipment. I got... I got this feeling I'm just barely scratching the surface of this game. Like, I don't even think I've begun playing yet, but I did have an idea. Again, uninhabited island. Island. Water. Can I get some fish caught here? Yep, sure can. There we go. There's some water right there. I assume like every other fishing minigame on the planet, I'm just waiting for the thing to start bobbing. And then, yep, there we go. Catch a fish. Okay, one fish caught. That is one little box checked off there. And I assume I can probably cook the fish. Kind of how fish work. Oh, I see there's a few of you who haven't quite paid up your bill yet. Let me, let me address that. Hang on, hang on. Let me collect your fees there. Yep. Mini bar is not free, I assure you. Uh, what was my next move? Oh, cooking on a stove. I think I should have the things I need to do that as well. So let's see. Stove. Yeah, I can do weird food. 
Who? Okay, sure. Yeah, absolutely. There's my weird food. Let's see how much that actually fills me up. Quite a bit, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so cooking, we definitely want to do some more of that. And that led me to breeding any animal. Good. I'm very interested. Enjoy the mud room. It's a little dirty, uh, but it's better than Arctic Adventure, I assure you. Now, I think, if I've done this right, I should have the things I need to do the thing over here where I create a replica. So over here, yep, monster meat. Ah, oh, I'm a few bones short. I just need to kill a few more sentient humanoids and then I'm good. Ah, oh, so close on that. All right, that's fine, that's fine. I can cope with that. Hey, you know what, while I'm here, do you have anything like super cool? What is this? Target dummy? Okay, the gang might like that. Oh, I think, did I just accidentally, but I just accidentally bought that. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, what is this down here? What do you got going on here? This is painkiller. No, all right, don't accidentally buy that. What's that? Rifter stone can take you back home through the... Ooh! Oh, like a free teleport home. I like the idea of that. I'm still on an, on an exploration phase at this point, but I like the idea of just going to zip back home. And remind me what your other doohickeys do here. Okay, fusion pool. Can't make that yet. Goblin workbench. Need a goblin gene ball. I bet I'm going to get that from the goblin village. Biotech foundry, tenergy. No, the only thing I can still do is that chemistry workbench. And what's your other who's in it here? Oh, it's a bed. Okay, I don't think I needed this, but thanks. I, I guess I appreciate it. Well, let's put the target dummy up and see if the guys are into that. Oh, hang on. There's a there's a hideous monstrosity. Oh, it's just a dog. It's just a dog. Don't let's not even worry about that. I should have just led it over to my turret over here. Um, how about we put this guy sort of over by the bench so you can sit there and watch people train? Now, can I do something with this target dummy? Oh, can I put armor on it? Can I? Is that a thing I can do? I could put like armor and weapons and shields and stuff. I mean, I don't know if I have shields, but... Oh, and somewhere I picked up a furnace. I probably don't really need that. Anyway, long story short, guys, enjoy the target dummy. Let's go get some stuff on the furnace because... Oh, I just had a furnace in my pocket. But let's get some more of the copper going on in there. I'll take these guys out of here. Uh, probably throw the fish on the fire just to wrap up here. One fish, one fire. There's my mushrooms. Take those down. And fish. Fish good? Fish good. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Kepler for today. Very easy mission for the next one. Go out, slaughter sentient humanoids, get their bones, and make this replica. I might take a stab at trying to find that goblin village. That sounds very good. Or I might go back to that farm and see if they, if somewhere in their sub-menus there I can buy some animals. Well, we'll pick up some more Kepler again next time. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly anyway, not until I saw some more reviews on the place and those reviews specifically said place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire. Uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.